some of the things, uh, internal things that happen in a clarinetist that really affect tone and intonation um, beyond to the, to the use of air. And of course, it's a wind instrument, so air is extremely important. The way that the air is used and directed will affect uh, intonation, sound, and tone, quality, and also technique, which you might not expect, but I believe it really does have an effect on technique as well. So it's extremely important, and I would say the most important thing about clarinet playing. Um, so if you're going to folk, it, but it's just one of the harder things to talk about to teach younger students because it's a little more of a concept versus something like embouchure that's very external. But something that uh, I think we can start with that's a little easy that, to teach your students that can have a big effect is what to do with the tongue inside of the mouth. And most young students, when I talk to them, they have no idea. They don't think about it whatsoever. So um, I want to encourage you to talk about this with all of your students because it can have a very big effect. And it's very simple in some ways to, to get them started. It's about a vowel. I mean, you, need, you need to say a certain vowel for them to create a good focus sound, and that vowel is E. If they say E while they're playing, then ask them, where is your tongue when you say E? You know, where is it inside of your mouth? If they have a hard time answering that question, they're not sure what you're getting at, then say, okay, well, say ah. And then say E again and describe the difference. And what they'll then say is, well, when I say E, the tongue is high in my mouth. When I say ah, it's low. For the clarinet, what you want is the vowel E. The tongue needs to be raised up high inside of the mouth. And um, the way that I teach the E vowel is at the back of the tongue. And I need to understand that it's the back portion of the tongue, not the front, but the middle to the back is up against the molars. Um, and up to almost the eye teeth, the tongue is pretty much stable in the E position. And it doesn't really move a lot, especially with young players. I would encourage them to get the tongue up high and glue it there. Don't move it when you're in the low register, high register, going through the break. Just have you keep it stable. For advanced players, we do make adjustments, but for a young player, it should be very stable. And that can make a huge difference in the sound. The reason that makes a big difference is because for the clarinet, you need um, a very fast, direct airstream. And the tongue helps with that. The tongue is sort of like a, a directional air vent. It's the vent that directs the air. It comes up high and it pushes it forward, right through here. Um, so I encourage your students to bring the tongue up high and forward. And I'll play a little bit in the upper register to show you the difference. I'll move my tongue up high and low and high, and you'll hear the difference in intonation and in tone. I'll be playing a G, left hand G up to C in that those registers. goes low when the tongue is low and also the tone goes from a very core focused sound to a wah kind of sound and honestly when you make that all oh, inside of the mouth what you get out of the clarinet is a blah sound if you make a ee, ee, tongue position inside the mouth you get a really rich warm sound and it's sort of an opposite effect and we think that if the, you're making an e sort of nasal sound you would get an e pinchy sound coming out of the clarinet but it's actually the opposite you can get them with a high tongue thinking E, and actually if you can get them saying E, E in a very nasal way, bringing the air forward up through here, you'll start to get really good sounds coming out of your clarinetus. It's a concept that takes some time uh, and a lot of individual work with a student to get there. So you might want to have them, you know, I encourage you to have them studying with private lessons with clarinetists as well. But if you just have them thinking E, with the back of the tongue, it's going to make some big differences if your entire clarinet section is doing that. You also need to encourage them and remind them to do it throughout every register of the instrument. Uh, if, as you go over the break, it becomes more resistant when you go from like B flat to B natural. The natural reaction is to lower the tongue because they're feeling resistance and so they make more open space inside the mouth, but encourage them do not change the tongue as you go up over the break. If you do, here's what you'll get. But if that's me moving the tongue down. If I keep the tongue in the same place, you'll get a, a much more uh, consistent sound. And then as you go up in the register, it becomes more noticeable whether the tongue is in the right place. Uh, I'll play with a low tongue position, and then as I get higher, you'll probably hear the difference. Get up high 
why the pitch tends to get more and more flat and the sound gets wider and, and less beautiful. So if you're working with a student on tongue position, sometimes working in that upper register from you know G just above the top staff up to the next G or whatever their highest note is, that's when you can really get them to focus on bringing the tongue up high and they'll really hear the difference and the most obvious difference is intonation. So I find that when working with tongue position, um, spending some time in the upper register really helps.